Hello students, welcome to the tutorial of Advanced Data Structure and Algorithm Laboratory. In this tutorial, we are going to see about the advanced concept of data structure and their implementation. So here I am using C++ code for implementing those data structures and using GCC compiler which is open source. The first experiment is implementation of a regressive function for tree traversal and Fibonacci. A regressive is nothing but a function called itself until the condition is true. That is called regressive. So we are going to be design a program for tree traversal and Fibonacci with the help of regressive. First we have to see about what is tree traversal. So in this diagram we having a tree structure which is called a binary tree. We having a five nodes 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So unlike the linear data structure like array, linked list, queue and stack, they are having only one way of traverse them, a logical way. For example, in queue we having first in first out, in stack we having lost in first out. In this similar way we are going to be traversing the nodes which is available in our data structure. But tree has more than one way to traversing them. So these are the called in order pre-order and post-order. Okay. So the top of the node one is called as a root node and 2 and 3 is going to be called as a left and right subtrees and 4 and 5 is going to be the children of parent 2. So in order means first we have to visit the left and then right, root and then right. In pre-order means first we have to visit the root and then left and then right. In post-order means left, right and root. So we will see the program implementation. So this is the uh, program implementation for tree traversal with regressive. So first of all, we have to make a data structure for tree. Tree having three important data structure elements. One is the data. Second one is the pointer to the left child and pointer to the right child. With the help of structure, we are going to be creating the structure for nodes. So the data and then pointer for left tree and pointer for right tree. So here we are using three traversals like a post order, in order and then pre-order. In post order means first we have to visit the left and then right and then root. In in order means first we have to visit the left tree and then print the root and then right. And then in pre-order first we have to visit the root and then left and right. So we are going to be constructing the tree which is we saw in the example. So we having a five nodes one two three and four so which having a similar data structure what we see in our example. So let's we run this example. Okay, it will print the what is the in order traversal and what is the pre order traversal and what is the post order traversal. So this is similar to our example. So we will see it. And next we have to discuss about the, the Fibonacci in regressive. So regressive function which is nothing but a function call itself until the condition is true. That is called regressive. In Fibonacci is nothing but, so the third output will be the input of the summation of the previous two input. This is called as the Fibonacci series. We are going to be initializing the two variables n1 and n2 is equal to 0 and 1. And we are going to be keep on summation of the previous two elements will be the output of the next element. Okay. So here the print of Fibonacci is going to be the uh, regressive function. So we are using n minus 2 because we already printed 0 and 1. So that's why we having a n minus 2. Let implement this program. So enter the number of elements. Let's we can save 9. So this is the Fibonacci series from 0, 1. So the third element is going to be the summation of previous two elements. In this way, we having the series of elements up to 9 elements. We having 21. So this is the first implementation of your advanced data structure program. Uh, we are going to be seeing the next video for the next implementation. Thank you.